today I want to talk about my personal packing list for hunting safari to Africa. What I personally pack in my carry-on and in my check bags. I've included the entire script below including a condensed list that you can print off and use as your final checklist. First you'll need a passport wallet with your passport and a copy of your customs form 4457 for your guns and any other valuables. More information on the 4457, how to get it, and what needs to be on it is included in the link below. Bring your travel insurance and medevac card with contact number. Take business cards or contact cards if you don't want to give out your business cards. Take a wallet with your ID and cash. Take plenty of cash in $5 and $1 increments. You always seem to be tipping people all along the way. Bring paper copies of your passport, driver's license, credit cards front and back, 4457. Have a paper backup of all your important documents. On a similar note, take photos of all these items on your phone and on your camera. If you lose your 4457, you can have a new copy printed up by simply emailing it to someone to print it for you. House and car keys. Suitcase, gun case, and any other keys. I wear these on a dog tag type of necklace around my neck. Toothbrush, toothpaste, lip balm, deodorant, and other things like lotion, contact solution, reading glasses, etc. I bring a small cheap flashlight. Breath mints for longer flights can be nice to everyone around you. Earplugs. Two words, crying babies. Bring a good pair of earbuds, the kind that fit tight and seal out any outside noises. I store mine inside of an Altoids tin. Any expensive gear. Pack your binoculars, rangefinder, camera. Bring a tripod like the Gorillapod. GoPro if you like. Bring a selfie stick, SD cards for the cameras you're bringing. Pack enough batteries for all the cameras. I usually keep at least three of the rechargeable batteries for each of my cameras. Bring a lens pin and the battery charger for your camera and batteries. Electric converters for every country you plan to visit, including layover countries. You'll likely want to top off the charge on your phone, your laptop, and your tablet while you wait for the next flight. Chargers and vehicle charging cord. Bring an iPad or tablet a small spiral notebook is very handy to bring on trip. Pens and Sharpies. I love Sharpies. Here's an important, useful, and cheap item that I carry with me when I travel. Bring three or four roll top bags. They're very light and are really handy. All the things that get removed during security screening go into one. Rings, watch, phone, keys, chapstick, everything in my pocket goes into that bag and right back into my pocket after screening. I also pack everything I will use on the flight in one roll top bag. Bring some Ziplocs. Spare luggage tag, sunglasses, and sunglass case. I bring about 30 feet of paracord or small rope and a few carabiners and some rubber bands. They're small, lightweight, they can be incredibly handy to lash stuff to, to your carry-on, fix a broken strap. Rubber bands are very helpful in keeping cords and cables in a manageable state. I always bring 20 to 30 zip ties. Let's not pretend that a TSA lock is at all secure, but I prefer a handful of zip ties over a TSA lock if you're on a long string of flights on planes that get progressively smaller and your carry-on is eventually going to have to be stowed as luggage. When the zippers come together, there's a small place for a padlock. Well, this is where you take the largest zip tie that you can find, secure it as tight as you can. Watches. I like to wear one on long flights so I don't have to dig my phone out of my pocket every time I want to see what time it is. Bring a change of clothes. Socks, pants, shirt, and underwear. The pants and shirt should always be versatile. You never know how long a bag can be delayed. Okay, let's take the clothes away and add some more gear that will be packed in your gun case or in your luggage. Bring Allen wrenches for your stock and scope mounts and rings. A boar snake, a few needles, and about 20 feet of 20 to 50 pound braid fishing line. I found braided fishing line to be strong enough to sew anything from canvas to leather, but small enough to use to sew the button back on your shirt. Another larger roll of paracord maybe 50 to 100 feet. Ammo pouch, belt, rifle sling, headlamp, 
small flashlight and larger flashlight, knife, multi-tool, first aid kit, bug spray of some sort, and sunscreen. Also, don't forget to bring a soft gun case for your gun. If I'm carrying a lot of camera and video gear in my Pelican case, my carry-on can weigh close to 50 pounds. Some airports have weight restrictions on carry-ons. In that case, I'll pack a travel vest as my load-bearing backup. 5.11 makes a nice tactical vest, very tough, and lots of pockets, lots of places to hide and store things. If I have to reduce the weight of my carry-on, I'll stash all my batteries and all heavier items in my vest when they weigh your bag and then they weigh your check-on. I put them back in my carry-on when I go through security because they don't weigh your carry-on at security. As for clothes, the list is pretty short. Daily laundry is the norm for every camp I've ever been to, unless it's a very unique situation. You can get by on three sets of clothes. You'll almost always need a jacket or a sweater in the morning. Bring a pair or two of leather gloves for warmth and for protection for crawling when you're stalking game. Bring a stocking cap and a ball cap or two that are darker in color. Bring a couple pair of long pants and a couple pair of shorts. Two or three sets is plenty, and bring three or four hunting shirts, long sleeve shirts or short sleeve shirts, depending on your preference and where you're hunting. Um, I found long sleeve shirts to be very versatile since they roll up. I wear darker colors. Khaki and light tan can be seen a lot easier than brown, dark green, or any of the uh, current camo patterns. Bring gaiters for your boots. Unless you enjoy seeds and sticks in your shoes, then don't bring gaiters. If you hunt in shorts, they're absolutely essential. I bring two pairs since it's possible for a set to get wet, muddy, lost, torn. Plus, you can always leave a pair in camp for the PH or the Appy. Gaiters are like 10 or 15 bucks each. They're very cheap and worth every penny. Like any hunt, you want to wear good boots. Make sure they're broken in and you can walk in them. Bring good boots properly fitted synthetic athletic socks. This will reduce the chance of blisters. Remember to lace your boots up tightly on long stocks as well. This will help prevent blisters and hot spots. Bring a small to medium sized day pack for hunting. This will hold your camera, phone, gloves, ammo, and any other assorted things you want to bring with you. If you have any suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Two things before you go. One, please subscribe. I upload these videos as often as I can. Two, leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. And that's it. Uh, those two things. Just that and the other thing. And then you can go. It's not so hard. It was easy. Why do people make it sound so hard? Did I hit record? I don't know why this hand is up here. Hey! Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe.